It's Trigger. So we've always triggered Rance to get out there and tell us what's going on in the oh, community, yeah. right? So one of the things I love about this job is learning about history and gaining a better perspective about our world, uh, our country, Florida, and various heritages. So I had an idea of the impact the African-American community had here in Jacksonville. No idea what was going down in St. Augustine. But I went down there, got a little insight, and you will have that opportunity as well. Check this out. We think that this museum will promote, uh, preserve the history of this community in Northeast Florida. The Lincolnville Museum Event and Cultural Center opened in 2005. Floyd Phillips has been president for the past 18 months and has planned some major changes. The idea that we're going to upgrade the museum, we want to get this museum certified. A uh, few African American museums are uh, certified throughout this country. We want this to be one of the exceptional ones. With educational partnerships with UF and its doctoral student interns, he looks to form more with Flagler College, UNF, and others. Their help is integral in preserving and sharing the culture of the Lincolnville community. We now only have about 20% uh, representation of the African American community. Uh, the culture is has to be preserved and this is the only our only uh, opportunity uh, I should say the last opportunity in this community to preserve that culture Miss B concurs with Floyd's assessment the culture here if you don't talk about what happened in the black culture or black heritage and that's anyone's culture by the way it be it becomes forgotten and if you don't know that you went through something you're bound to repeat it again it is so important because uh, many people uh, have uh, passed away and we have missed those histories. We left, we, we missed getting our histories from uh, several important people from this community just recently, uh, simply because the timing just wasn't right for us to make that happen. Uh, we intend to uh, end up with 1,000 oral histories in our archives. And these same oral histories will be at the University of Florida. Studies show that African-American tourism generates money into the billions. Upgrading the museum and sharing the cultural impact on St. Augustine can bring much of those funds to Northeast Florida. If we were to properly uh, promote this tourism, uh, this specialty market, uh, there's little doubt in my mind that we could uh, increase that uh, by a large percentage. Miss B stresses that much of the history of St. Augustine focuses on the early explorers. She wants to ensure that tourists recognize the civil rights history as well. We're talking about Pedro Menendez from the 1500 and Ponce de Leon and the French and the British. But what we need to know, the ghosts that we talk about at night when we do ghost tours, guess what? There's real ghosts here. But they're the ghosts of the 60s and I make sure that people know about it. So all those hundreds of thousands of visitors come here, if they come through Tour St. Augustine and see Miss B, they're going to learn about the braveness and the courageousness that was shown by all the African Americans here, whether they stood and marched or just sent the children out because that's what the young people did here, the 14, 15, 16 year olds. And when they did that, you're gonna find out that St. Augustine was one of the biggest battlefields for the civil rights movement here. Class remains in session. If you don't know history, you're bound to repeat it. I'm Rance Adams for River City Live. Now that's just really touched me because I had yeah. no idea about the impact with the civil rights movement. I mean, you know, the old history, but so much of the new history and people don't really know about all of that. So there's lots of events people can do. There are also donations help the museum. They're also looking for volunteers. They're creating a senior citizen yoga class, all that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to know more about that, the events they have going on with their walking tours and all of the African-American history and heritage in St. Augustine, you need to go to the website and check it out. And we've linked you to it on RiverCityLiveTV.com. I feel like I could listen to her talk all day. Miss B. Miss B. Miss B. <laughs> you like butter. I could listen to you all day. All right.